Good morning everybody and welcome to a brand new day. It is Friday today and it is almost nine o'clock and we are getting ready to go out today. So today we are going to the one, the only, King's Park. Um, we're going with my sister. I asked my sister if she wanted to come with us because I know she's got some time off work. So I'm just like, hey, we don't hang out that much, just us. So I invited her and she said yes. I'm really excited about that because like I said, I don't get to just hang out with my sister very often. So I'm really excited she is coming with us. But I am just packing us some snacks to take us take with us at the moment. So I've got some grapes because Frederick loves grapes. I've also got some mission corn chips because we love corn chips and I've also got some cauliflower because Frederick is obsessed with raw cauliflower so I'm going to take some with us so he can snack on that during the day. I'm also probably going to take some apple and maybe some beans like chickpeas or something. I'm not too sure but um yeah. We need to pack this because I have to get going in like 10 minutes. So I've packed ourselves in the car. Frederick's got a really annoying toy, but that is okay. We're just gonna deal with it. It's entertaining him in the car. So I need to go get petrol, pick up my sister, and then we can drive to Kings Park. Really excited for today. Really excited, but we will see you when we hit Kings Park. We just got to Kings Hi. Park with my Hi. sister. Hi. It's okay, Stanley. <laughs> and Freddie's PMSing real there. bad today. Like he's Hi. having. He's having a few hissy fits, but we're dealing with them. It is okay. It is a part of mum life. So King's Park was a success, finally, after, after a while. Yeah, Frederick just didn't want to walk. He wanted me to carry him, just like I am right now. But um, we're gonna go back into the car because it is boiling hot right now. We are sweating. We are sweating so much. So we're gonna go back into the car, get the aircon going, and then I think we're gonna drive through King's Park and maybe pop into the little playground that they have here which is completely under shade most of it so that's a good thing because the shade feels really nice but the sun does not feel nice I think it's like 30 something degrees but it feels like about 50 so we, we finished at Kings Park and we ended up coming to the Jolly Pig because we were gonna come here before <laughs> we were gonna come here before Kings Park but it wasn't open and my sister's trying her first vegan donut. Is it yummy? It's delicious. It's so good isn't it? I just got my first one. You gave me one for my birthday. Oh I did Just you. not from here. But yeah no. And they only it's the cinnamon sugar it's just oh. <laughs> They're only $2.50 for the one of those big long ones. Really? Yeah. The little the long donut sausage <laughs> that it is. <laughs> I also got two, um, can't even see, I got two mock chicken pies, they're delicious, you can try one too if you want. Oh come on, you're fattening me up. <laughs> Just a little bite, you can have a little bite. <laughs> so something I really love about being vegan is non-vegans trying vegan food and being like, oh my god this is so delicious, especially when it's like mock meat. <laughs> <laughs> Emma's like, no, I'm not gonna give it a go. Hey guys! Hey guys! Where's Kaga? Go say hello! Hey guys! Hey guys! Hi darling! <laughs> Did you miss Tiger? <laughs> so we've got home. It is quarter to two now. And we're finally home. Today was really nice. It was a really nice morning to spend with my sister. It was really chilled back. We didn't really do much at Kings Park. We just walked around. Frederick had a few hissy fits here and there, um, which we slowly got used to. I think it was a good half an hour until Frederick, you know, got used to his hissy fits and just started to actually chill out. But it was really nice. And I really liked spending time with my sister today. While 
Frederick is entertaining himself over there with all his toys. I thought it was a good time to sit down and talk to you all about my New Year's resolutions for next year because it's only a couple of days away until the new year and I don't know when I'm going to vlog next so I think it is a good time that we sit down and talk about my New Year's resolutions for 2018. So I've got 10 that I want to talk about and we're going to start right now. So my first one that I want to do is that I want to give back more. Like donating my furniture, my clothes, toys, tools, like literally anything in my house. I want to give back to my community. I want to go take everything to charity and make sure that it goes to families in need that actually need these things and can't afford these. But also it's good for the environment to put it back into someone else's house rather than just putting it at the tip. My second one is that I want to actually practice yoga. I have been loving doing yoga here and there and I've actually been doing it more recently instead of going to the gym. Like that I've decided that I really want to practice more of and I want to learn new moves and I want to actually know what the moves are called so that's something that I want to do. Third one is that I want to find new foods that I love. Becoming a vegan this year has opened my eyes to a lot of foods that I would have never tried or wanted to try or even give a second chance because I didn't like it before. So I want to find new foods that I love if that's fruit, if that's new vegetables, if that's new grains, if that's like literally anything I want to find new foods that I didn't like before or I've never tried that I love Next. Number four is that I want to be outside more. This year we have been really doing that. We've been going outside and we've been enjoying the outdoors and exploring everything and it's been really nice but I want to do that more next year and I actually want to be outside more than I am inside. Number five is I want to do regular health checks now if that's with the eye doctor the dentist, the normal doctor, like literally anything if it's for mammograms or pap smears or anything like that. I want to do regular health checks, not only for myself, but obviously my entire family, but I want to make sure that I am the healthiest I possibly am and make sure that nothing is going wrong with my body. I think it's really important that everyone does this. So if it's not on your New Year's resolutions, it probably should be because you should be looking after yourself and to do that, you should be going to the doctor and making sure you're all healthy. Number six is I want to be more romantic. Now I thought I was romantic but since having Frederick that's kind of gone down the drain. Jason's relationship has changed quite a bit since having Frederick but whose relationship doesn't after they have kids. But I really want to focus more on mine and Jason's relationship next year and I want to be more romantic with him. I want to you know, you know go out for dinners just me and him. I want to go have dates with him. Basically I just want to show Jason that I am romantic and that I adore and love him so 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 much. Number seven is I want to spend less time on social media. Now that is obviously a hard one because I do YouTube and I want to become a photographer so I kind of have to spend quite a bit of time on social media with those two things but I want to try and make sure that I have a certain amount of time on social media and then a certain amount of time off social media. Number eight is I want to have more courage. This is mainly because I want to be able to stand up for myself and I want to be able to say no to things and I want to be able to say my opinion on things. And I also want to tell people when I don't think something is right and I just want to have more courage and feel like it is okay if someone's going to be a B-O-T-C-H to you but you can stand up for yourself. Number nine is I would love to travel but mostly I want to explore my country so I really want to explore Australia more. Not a lot of people get to explore their own country and I think it's a bit of a shame you live in your beautiful country and you don't really get to explore it that much and it's something that I really want to do next year with you know our family. I really want to hopefully get a van or a motorhome and just go traveling around Australia exploring the wonderful beaches, the wonderful places that many people don't get to see and it's something that I really 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 want to do. Lucky last number 10, I want to practice minimalism. 
Hopefully I said that right because it's a tongue twister. But I really want to practice minimalism and I really want to declutter my entire house and just have minimal things. Like I know I have a lot in the lounge room and in our bedroom and Frederick's bedroom. Um, but I really want to just diet down and just have minimal things. So those are my 10 resolutions but I want to know if you have any and if you do please let me know what are some of them in the comments because I really want to see what you guys have and maybe if they're really good I can try and add them to my list or just end up having like 100 but that's okay. I really want to see if there is something else out there that I would love to add to my list to try and do next year but yes leave them down below because I really want to know. So it's it's uh, been a while. Da, 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 da. Could do that song but I'm not going to. Um, it is seven o'clock now and it has been a, a few minutes since I last seen you. It's not been just a few minutes, it's been quite a few hours. I'm going to get going because this vlog is turning into a really long vlog. So we all hope you enjoyed today's vlog. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and maybe hit that subscribe button if you want to see more from us. And we'll see you all next time. Bye.